All right, right now it's time to see what's clicking in Cleveland. For that, you know the drill. We bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Stephanie, happy, happy Monday to you. Hope you had a great weekend. Thanks, Jay. Happy Monday to you. You know, the 2021 Cleveland Marathon isn't canceled, but it is pushed back from May. There will now be an in-person race held in the fall, and that date isn't set yet because they don't want to conflict with the Browns' home game. If you're already registered, you can run a virtual race in either May or fall if you would prefer. And if you were originally registered for 2020's marathon, you can also defer to 2022. Now, the Burger King in UK made an interesting marketing move today. The company is now apologizing after a post that said, women belong in the kitchen. People thought it wasn't real, but oh, it was. And Burger King got called out for using sexism as clickbait. In the rest of the thread, the company did say, only if they want to, noting that most chefs in the UK are men and they also announced scholarships for female employees. Still though, most thought this was not a good look, but it did get people talking about Burger King today. And celebrities have come out overwhelmingly in support of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle after the interview with Oprah. Meghan was called the crown's greatest opportunity for change that they missed out on. Maria Shriver noted, we really have no idea what goes on in people's lives. And many praised Meghan's honesty about mental health struggles. Tennis star Serena Williams called Meghan truly noble, saying how sexism and racism are used to vilify women and people of color and how devastating, isolating and lethal oppression can be. Critics, though, felt Oprah didn't dig for enough detail, but some who tore into them later backtracked, like Bethany Frankel, who said that emotional distress and racism must feel suffocating and powerless. Bottom line, lots of people shocked about what Harry and Meghan had to say, Jay. Including this, we'll end it on a positive note. They did reveal that they are having a baby girl in the summer, and they're thrilled about it. All right, and congratulations to them for that. Stephanie, thanks.